Lost Kingdom, a tale of magic and adventure. Once upon a time, in a distant land, there was a kingdom named Eldoria, hidden deep within the mountains. Eldoria was a land of mystery, where magic flowed through every stream, tree, and rock. Its people lived in harmony with nature, guided by their wise king, King Eldred. The king ruled for many years, but as time passed, he began to grow old, and so did the power of the kingdom. The magic that once protected Eldoria started to fade. The enchanted forests that shielded the kingdom from outsiders began to weaken, and strange occurrences began to trouble the villagers. Rivers ran dry, crops failed, and ominous creatures were spotted in the wilderness. Fear spread through the land as dark forces gathered in the shadows. King Eldred knew that his time was coming to an end, and with it, the kingdom's protection. In desperation, he summoned his trusted advisors, the Council of Wizards. They told him of an ancient prophecy. When the last king grows weak, the kingdom's magic will be at risk. Only the chosen one, with a heart pure and strong, can restore the magic and save the kingdom. The king had no heirs, and the prophecy spoke of a chosen one, but it did not say who or where they would be found. The council suggested that a grand quest be undertaken to find the chosen one, someone who could reignite the magic and restore Eldoria's balance. Among the council was a young wizard named Alara. She was not yet powerful but was known for her wisdom and determination. She volunteered to lead the quest. Believing that the key to restoring Eldoria's magic lay beyond the kingdom's borders, in the unknown lands. King Eldred agreed, and with his blessing, Alara set out on her journey. Alara's quest was not an easy one. She journeyed through forests filled with strange creatures, climbed mountains that touched the sky, and crossed treacherous rivers. Along the way, she met companions who would aid her in her mission. First, she encountered a skilled swordsman named Rowan, a wanderer from a distant land. Rowan was brave but had a mysterious past that he rarely spoke of. Next, they met Lyra, a healer with the power to communicate with nature who had been searching for a way to stop the dark magic spreading through the lands. The trio traveled far and wide, gathering clues about the prophecy. They learned that the Chosen One was not a noble or a warrior, but an ordinary person with an extraordinary gift. Their journey took them to ancient libraries, where they studied forgotten scrolls and to remote villagers, where they listened to stories passed down through generations. One day, in a small village at the edge of the world, they found a clue that led them to a humble farmer named Aiden. Aiden was an ordinary man, kind and hard-working, who had no knowledge of magic or royalty. But there was something about him that resonated with the prophecy. He possessed a pure heart, untouched by greed or ambition, and a deep connection to the land and its magic. Alara, Rowan, and Lyra convinced Aiden to join them, though he was hesitant at first. He did not believe he could be the chosen one the prophecy spoke of. However, as they traveled back to Eldoria, Aiden began to discover his hidden powers. His ability to communicate with nature grew stronger, 
and he found himself able to control the elements in ways he never imagined. As they neared Eldoria, the land grew darker and more dangerous. The dark forces that had been gathering were now preparing for an all-out attack on the kingdom. Alara realized that time was running out. They had to reach the kingdom and restore the magic before it was too late. When they arrived, they found the kingdom in chaos. The dark creatures had broken through the weakened barriers and the people were fighting to defend their homes. King Eldred, now gravely ill, could do little more than watch as his kingdom crumbled. But when Aiden stepped forward, something incredible happened. The magic of the land responded to him, as if it had been waiting for his return. With Alara, Rowan, and Lyra by his side, Aiden faced the dark forces that threatened Eldoria. He called upon the elements, summoning the winds, rivers, and forests to rise up against the darkness. The battle was fierce, but Aiden's connection to the land gave him the strength to push back the dark magic. The creatures were driven out, and the barriers around the kingdom began to restore themselves. In the final moments of the battle, Aiden came face to face with the source of the dark magic and ancient. Sorcerer who had once been a powerful wizard in Eldoria but had turned to dark magic in search of immortality. The sorcerer had been waiting for King Eldred's magic to weaken, so he could claim the kingdom for himself. Aiden and the sorcerer engaged in a fierce battle of magic and will. The sorcerer was powerful, but Aiden's connection to the land gave him an advantage. With one final surge of energy, Aiden called upon the magic of Eldoria, and the sorcerer was defeated, his dark magic vanishing into the wind. The kingdom was saved and the magic of Eldoria was restored. King Eldred, though near the end of his life, lived to see his kingdom safe once more. He named Aiden as the new protector of the land, and Alara, Rowan, and Lyra stayed by his side to help him rebuild. Aiden, once a humble farmer, became a legend in Eldoria. His story was told for generations, a reminder that true strength comes from the heart and that even the most ordinary among us can do extraordinary things.